Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 808 for technical and vocational schools. It is Unit 9, Lesson 2, A, Phrasal Verbs. Now, in order for you to do the lesson well, you need the following. Number one, Project Success 2, Students Book. Number two, a notebook or a piece of paper. Number three, a pencil, a pen or a pencil. Number four, a dictionary. All right, lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use phrasal verbs in writing sentences. So, what is a phrasal verb? Let me show you with a sentence. We have basal, gap, the information. Now, I would like to use the phrasal verb. In this case, in this case it's writes down. Faisal writes down the information. Let's take a look at the second example. You can gap me. So, use a phrasal verb. You can count on me. You can count on me. All right, a third example. Maisa will gap you. Another gap. Maisa will help you out. Will help you out. So, phrasal verbs like these, Ca writes down, count on, help out, are mainly used in spoken, spoken English and in informal texts. They consist of a verb plus a particle. A verb like these, writes, count, help. Particle like these, down, on, out, as down, on. All right. So, we have two categories in phrasal verbs. The first one is separable, separable, separable phrasal verbs. Let me show you the first one, help out, help out. It means exactly assist, assist. For example, she needs you to help her out. Notice that help is separated with out. So, help her out. There is something between them. It is a pronoun. Let's check another one. Pick up. Pick up. The meaning is collect. Example, you'll have to pick it up. Pick and up are separated by it, which is a pronoun. Drop off. Drop off. It means deliver. And the example, Suhail dropped the package off, dropped the package off. The package is the pronoun. Put in, submit. Menal will put the letters in. She will submit them. Note down, it means write. So, Nabil noted it down at nine o'clock. La the last one, fill out. It means complete. You say, Sami is going to fill the form out. So we have about six of separable phrasal verbs. As you see, these are the pronouns. They come in between the two parts, which is a verb plus a particle. All right. You see, we call it a pronoun, a pronoun. All right, so let's have a task. Fill in the gaps in the following. And you have a mark of three. The first one. The salesperson gap, the order gap. And you have to use submitted, which means the phrasal verb, that means submit. You have five seconds. All right, let's check, let's check. The answer is put in, put in, put in, which is a separable phrasal verb. Okay, number two. The man gap, the books gap yesterday, and you have to use a phrasal verb that means collected. You have five seconds.
Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is picked the box up. Picked the box up. Very good. Students, gap, all the information, gap, and you have to use wrote, wrote, which means the phrase of verb, that means wrote. You have five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is students noted all the information down. Now correct yourself out of three and let's carry on. Okay, now we're going to move to the other category, which is inseparable phrasal verbs. Inseparable. For example, run out, run out, which means use all, use all. Let's take a look at the example. We'll run out of sugar soon. You could not separate run and out from each other. They have to stick to each other. Okay, so we'll run out. Let's check another example. Count on. It means trust. For example, you can count on Fadila. You can count on Fadila. You cannot separate count and on. All right. Get off means leave the bus. Leave a bus or a train or a car. Salem gets off the bus at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. All right. Get on, which means the opposite, means board the bus or a train. Majida will get on the train soon. Will get on the train soon. Look after means take care of. Farah's looking after her sister. You see, the verb in here is the present continuous. Farah is looking after her sister. Run into. You see, it means meet accidentally. And Usama ran into his close friend. All right, so let's have a quick task. Question, write T if the sentence is correct or F if it's false. And you have a mark of three. The first one, I know Jasim, you can count him on. Now, if, it, if it's true, circle T, if it's false, circle F, you have five seconds. All right, let's check the answer. The answer is false, false. So why is that? Instead of saying count him on, you say count on him, count on him. All right, number two. I always get on the train in the morning. True or false? Five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is true. This is correct. All right, number three. They're going to run water out. True or false? Five seconds. Okay, let's check the answer. It is false. Why is that? You say, run out of water, run out of water. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Task number three. Now, in your notebooks, answer the following. A, rewrite the sentences, use a pronoun for the direct object. Number one, Ghadir is going to drop off the key. Now, you're going to use a phrase of verb plus a pronoun. Ghadir is going to drop it off. Drop it off. Take a look here. To drop off the key. Now you have to use a pronoun. You have to put it between the verb and the particle. Okay. We have two. Okay. Ghadir doesn't need to take out the trash. Iman is going to put in the maps. Dana need to fill out the form. The dean counts on Dana to plan conferences. Now these are four sentences and you have three minutes to do them.
Okay, now let's check the answers. So, model answer for question A. Two, Ghadir doesn't need to take it out. You see, I place the pronoun between take and out. Three, Iman is going to put them in. Again, them is in between put and in. Donna needs to fill it out. Again, it between fill and out. The dean counts on her to plan conferences. Okay, count on her. You see, count on, you do not separate it. So you, you place the, uh, the pronoun after count on. Task number four. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question. Write four sentences using phrasal verbs. Start two with separable and two with inseparable, like the example below. And you have a mark of eight. Jihad always tries to help his friends out. Now you have to make two with separable phrasal verbs and two with inseparable. And you have three minutes. All right, let's go and check the answers. But before you do that, you have to use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. Now, let's check the model answer, B. The postman dropped the letter of today. Two, I was about to fill the form out, but the pen ran out. 
3. My father truly knows that he can count on me. 4. I usually get on the school bus at about 6.20 a.m. All right. Now, well done. Give yourself a tap on the back plus two marks for finishing the lesson and calculate your final mark. Now, eva evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use phrasal verbs in writing sentences. And you have a mark out of 20. Now, if you have answered all the questions 100%, that means 20 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% or more, that means 15, 15 marks or above, you can go over the part you failed in and redo it. If you have 75% or below, that means 15 marks or lower than that, then go over the whole lesson and redo it. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck, thank you for your attention.